Well, work has started here in the new little shop, which is going to be primarily hand tools and non-electric tools. Can't guarantee I won't cheat every now and then, but for the most part, this is just going to be coal forge, anvil, vise, a little workbench, and not much else. I'm going to invest in a hand crank blower for the forge so it doesn't have to run on electricity, and we'll make this just a little bit more of a rustic experience when I do videos over here. It'll be kind of a split between the two shops just depending on what I'm working on. I wouldn't count on 50-50 or any other specific split on how I do the videos. I did put a little bit of cement board up in this back corner, and that's just kind of a shield that's non-combustible in case any coal falls off the back of the forge or something like that. Coal forges really don't have all the same issues as a wood stove because they draw so much fresh air in around the fire that goes right up the chimney. They don't have chimney fires, they don't have a big firebox that gets super hot. So they aren't as big a risk, but it never hurts to play things safe. So I went ahead and put the cement board up. I'm going to go ahead and tape the joints and put some mortar over it just to cover up all the writing on it make it look a little bit better in here anyways. My plan is to put the coal forge with a hand blower back in that corner, but not right up against the wall. I'm gonna leave a foot or so, just so you can move around it if you have to. Anvil's gonna go about center of the room. Over on the other side, I'll put a little workbench in with a vise, have some hacksaws, hand files, little hand crank grinders, things like that that I already have. But the big expense at the moment is going to be putting a chimney in. And as I said, coal forges don't have all the same issues as wood stoves. But if you ever have an inspector come by and look at your installation, they would love to see a wood stove chimney. So that's what I've always done. That's what I'll do here. They're just rather expensive. Last time I looked, it was going to be $1,500 to $2,000 to do something like that. And that's not really in my budget right now. So this may wait a little while. It may be next month, month after that, maybe even the end of the summer before I actually get the forge up and running. And that may still not have the rest of the room done. And I think the way I'm gonna fund this is to divert some or all of the Patreon contributions to just getting this shop set up until this is done and operational. And that just depends on what those contributions are each month and whether or not I can go ahead and divert those. I can't guarantee I'll be able to do that all the time, but that's gonna be my goal. So if you'd like to see this little shop completed, see some work being done with all hand tools, with hand crank blower, hand work at the anvil, no power hammer, no big grinders, you can help support the project through Patreon. There's no obligation whatsoever. It just might get done a little bit faster with your support. I'm going to go ahead and take the old blower off of here before I get this put back in the corner. Well, that's about as far as I'm going to go for now. This is where the forge is going to live. I'm going to have to get a chimney put through the roof, get the hood all set up, 
and get a blower on this. But I did find a good hand crank blower on eBay. This is an old Champion 400. And I think these are probably the best hand crank blower anybody ever made. This one's a little bit stiff. It's got some old oil in it, so I'll need to clean it up and re-lubricate it. it. Should just be a matter of cleaning up and deciding whether or not it needs paint, which probably I won't worry about. Although this did not come with a stand, so I'm going to have to figure out exactly how I'm going to mount it. So this won't be finished in the next month or two, but hopefully before winter gets here, this will be a completely functional little hand tool shop. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have time in your day to get into your shop, make something, or just reinvent your space. But stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.